It has indeed been a sad few days for the family of the late Carolina Loach, who passed on in Saudi Arabia. The family had convened today at the Chiromo Mortuary Center to receive the postmortem results of their long gone daughter. Reports had indicated that the death of the child was surrounding a suicide, but the family has indeed ruled out any possibility of Caroline committing suicide. It's so sad these things are happening. Everybody knows, our leaders know, and a lot of games is being played. There are a lot of atrocities on the ground that I'm telling you here right now. There are a lot of atrocities. And if we can't follow it hard, if we can't do the legal process, if we can't do the exact thing that is going to ensure that the lives of our fellow Kenyans who are over there are protected, then I tell you, you're still going to receive such kind of cases. It, uh, by bad luck, I'm saying that, but that is the hard truth I'm telling you. In leaving for the government to see what they can do about that, still they are going to do more investigation about that uh, uh, post-mortem and they will give us the report after that. Then after that is when now we as the family, we will uh, sit down and see what to do about that. I have witnessed, uh, there is no, I mean still there is no report, clear evidence to show the cause of her death. But what I can say, the way I know my sister, she could not commit suicide. My sister struggled a lot to save her life. Even for the people who check the videos, you can lie with me. But to my sister, issue of committing suicide, no. And I said no, I'm repeating, my sister could not. I think it, it's been quite overwhelming for us as an office because after we highlighted the plight of Carolina Ward, we've received more than 12 cases of Kenyans who are um, in distress in Saudi Arabia. But for me, it's just a deterrent for young ladies uh, who want to travel to Saudi Arabia. Unless they are assured of their safety, and that is the assurance will come from the government. Unless they are assured of their safety and protection, then for right now, I don't think it is still safe because we are still in communication with them to see how the best we can help them uh, come to Kenya.